David, 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 David Banner. I tell you what I would do, man. I would get a house on like 100 acres of land somewhere in the south. And I would just have at-risk youth come and I would train them in all kinds of shit. And if it wasn't me, all my friends who have different specialties, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll get Tommy Nova to teach them, you know, video editing whoring. and things like that. Whoring. Oh, sorry. You know, how not to have safe sex safely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would be doing everything from coding to weapons to growing their own food. And that's what I would do, man. If I could just do anything, that's what I would do. It's crazy. And just send them out of there as a damn brilliant fucking savage. Oh, well, if you talk about stuff like that, then... Okay, I'm just yeah. saying, that's, that's what, what I would be... Yeah. Oh, okay, well, then, yeah. Because after wanna, all okay. the money, money stuff is good. Okay, well, then, yeah. I thought you were talking about just in my personal time. That's what I was thinking. No, I mean, like, what would you do? No, we didn't took care of the personal time because yeah. you got the money now. That's why, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh. I, I didn't want to lead the question. Oh, well, nah. in that case, I mean, it's different. I would, I would go on Scott's thing and I have a damn full curriculum on how to not be a fucking sucker. Right. Because I think half of you dudes out here are straight fucking suckers and y'all need a real class on that shit. Like, seriously need a class on it. Mm-hmm. They need like, guidelines. Like, it's rules and regulations and yeah. do's and don'ts. It's just the way you do fucking everything. And they be True. doing suck ass shit like, like even just simple stuff like dog. This stuff is like even if you see a broad and you want to holler at her, you ain't sure if the dude she with her dude or not her dude. It's still a way you can find out. Mm-hmm. You know Without what I'm being saying? Disrespectful. Yeah, all you gotta do is go holler at the dude, pull him to the side, yeah. just tap him for a second, ask him. It's simple. That's you, bro, yeah. or not. I was just checking with you first. Because I didn't want to be disrespectful. I didn't want to be disrespectful. Be disrespectful. He's going to give you a yay yeah or nay. Don't yeah. do no sucker shit like wait till a nigga go to the bathroom that you see him coming back him. from the bathroom. Yep. You try to scamper off real quick. That'll get your Remember ass Remember that beat. dude did that to me in the gym in L.A.? I was going to throw him off the escalator. Mm-hmm. What did he do? I was training somebody, but he didn't know what our relationship was. And right. every time I went to the water fountain or some shit, he was over there in her ear. Mm-hmm. And I would turn around and he would literally be running away. We did shit like three times. So I finally asked her, I was like, do you want to fuck this motherfucker? Mm-hmm. She was like, no, I don't know him. And every time you leave, he up in my face. I said, okay, I'm going to have some fun with it. So when we were leaving, you know at that gym in Sherman Oaks, mm-hmm. I was coming down the escalator with her and he was coming up. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he passed by me, he was waving his hand in her face trying to get her attention behind my back. Mm-hmm. I turned around and I started cursing that motherfucker. But the shit was going like this, right? He was going up, and I bought it. You know, this is Sherman Oaks, dog. White that Oaks. was the Magic Johnson shit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm at the bottom by the Cheesecake Factory, and I'm yelling at him at the top. I'm going to come up there and throw you off this motherfucker. You don't disrespect me like that. Yeah. 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 But I'm screaming. Now, you fucking kidding me, dog? You don't know what my relationship is with her? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you going to go behind my back in the gym? Get the fuck out of here, bro. That was... <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I already knew. But that's why, yeah. That's why. But, but I, I'll tell y'all what I, I want to do. If it was crazy, Scott, when you said that. I, I want to just take one generation of kids and take them from, from kindergarten all the way through college. And, like, whether it's uh, coding, whether it's, uh, whether it's whatever we decide we want them to do, computer, whether it's farming, whatever, we start them from kindergarten. And my dream is... One of the things that I found out once I started working with the school system is even if you got a perfect father and mother, you don't have a perfect environment. Even if you got a perfect environment, a lot of times your parents be fucked up. Then you can have a perfect environment. But what's a person what's a perfect environment? Well, whether it's perfect or whether it's conducive to having regular thinking, shit is so off in America. You know, the shit, especially that black people have to live through. We were talking about that shit. Then yeah. shit, I remember when you was telling me just being on the porch, y'all were accustomed to just hitting the floor. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, it's that's. That's a low level of stress you got to deal with. Bro, that's whole a life. level of stress that we just become accustomed to, but that's not normal, homie. I mean, it's normal in that surrounding, so that's why you do it without thinking. But it's not normal, though. Mm-mm. It's not normal, though. That's what I'm Mm-mm. saying. It's not normal. That may be the way of life that we have to live. That's the conditions that we under. But, bro, that's, that's still a healthy. certain level of stress that we don't even know about. You. Bro. i even give you an example. Every time I'll go, y'all know how I'll leave and go to them islands? I never knew how stressful driving was until I didn't drive for two and a half weeks at all. I was over in um, Tahiti. Didn't touch a car, bro. 
Yeah. And came back and paper. got in the car, bro. A lot of paper. What? What I do? Tahiti. I was in the middle of the sea. I loved it. Ooh. Wake I up in the morning. It. I love it. Swim this. over to Come the. On. Uh, oh. Come on. Come on, man. Twice, actually. Tell the whole truth. Now you don't want me to tell the truth. Well, leave that part. <laughs> you had to come and get me, dog. <laughs> nah, I can't lie, dog. I'm scared to the motherfucker. But um, point, <laughs> point being is that um, I would want to take a, a, a general, like kids from kindergarten and raise them all the way through college. But have their families, too. Because a lot of times, you know, you may be able to feed the kids at home they even do that in a lot of third world countries is they grow, they have gardens at the school. Yeah, so, so the you kids teach them can, how to grow their own food. Right, and, but they can take the food home to their right, parents. Right, right, it's not going to waste. So if we're able to not only take the kids out the environment, but give them parents a job. <laughs> hey, what? So you know my boy Jake's right. Right. Commando. Mm -hmm. He was working at the um, some type of halfway house for mm -hmm. at risk youth. Mm -hmm. And so he started this whole physical fitness program, right? So he was teaching them how to tie tourniquets and splints on their ankles, all kind of military shit. Mm -hmm. He submitted a proposal where he was going to shoot a goat and have them save the goat's life as a final project. No, my homegirls, <laughs> no, my homegirls in the army now. That's no, what they but do. No, these were in the juvenile detention center. These are criminals. Yeah. Then he was going to have them catch chickens, kill them, pluck them, and clean them, and cook them. So you're going to give these children knives now. And was pissed off when they turned him down, bro. <laughs> he could not understand why he could not bring firearms to the juvenile detention center to shoot a goat. Bro, I can't even. <laughs> Sometimes I be wondering. I don't know what I can talk about, bro. But I remember that time that Jake's was at that party, at your party. In L.A., dog. And so Jake said, would Jake's get, would Jake's get wild? Like, he get wild. But, like, he's a trained. Like, Jake's can take a cup of water, two teaspoons, and kill everybody on this block. <laughs> Scott, am I joking? Nah, you serious. Oh, I'm not joking. Long? I'm dead serious. I'm not joking. You dead serious. But, so he has stopped drinking because when he get drunk, he get deadly wild. Like, Scott be having to be like, bro, like, no, bro. Uh -uh. So he started <laughs> off drinking. It was sort of like Frank the Tank on, um, old school. On, on old school. So he was drinking old dudes. Sure was. He was, no, drinking old, he was drinking old dudes. Like, y'all, he called me OC because he said I was cool as a fan. <laughs> he was surprised that, you know, somebody who could be on the level that I was or, or am or whatever that could be that cool. So he would call me AC all the time. They go, AC, cool as a fan, cool as a fan. He started drinking, oh, I'm on, I'm on that old dude's, man. I'm trying to calm down, AC. I guess somebody was like, hey, man, he could just take one, you know, beer, just like Frank the Tate. He's like, no, nah, man, old dudes, old dudes. Oh, man, fuck it, what? Boy, next thing I know, he had his shirt on. I'm talking about old kid. I control. And, bro, the, the and set. And I got to go around and tell everybody, do not bother him. At all. He'll kill you. He'll kill everybody, bro. All y'all. One of the things this that dude I, disrespected my house one time, and he said that he was going to take him out to the pool and drown him. No, right, and re and, and then uh, resuscitate, resuscitate him, him. And then strip him naked and leave him in the middle of the street in front of my house. Mm -hmm. But he was serious. No, so literally how, drown him. This is how you was gonna solve the problem. Bring him back he to life. Kill him, Tommy. Bring him. No, I'm not joking. I have a friend whose plan is to kill you. Right. No, I'm not joking. Over just over disrespect. Now he's gonna kill you in my pool. Actually drown you. You die. Yeah, he gonna pull you out, clear your lungs of water, start your heart to beating again, take all your clothes off, and sling you out in the street. He gonna show you God, <laughs> and then make you a child again, right? right, right butt naked, butt -ass and let you be born into the way of manhood. The, the same way you came in. Just like in. you were saying, <laughs> show these yeah, motherfuckers. That should be how way. we bring everybody into let, our let, group. Let Jake drown you. <laughs> <laughs> be born again, you bitch yeah, ass motherfucker. Yeah, we gonna bring you back brand new. Man, shit. Yeah, so we know some yeah. interesting folks. Yeah, man. Who who's who's the who's the craziest person you know, Lee? Crazy. Uh, you ain't got name no names would give us a situation. I, Cause it's like it's different. It's like Can you tell the rocket story or you can't? The rocket. About uh Taco Bell and the rocket launcher? 
if I say Youngstown a rocket launcher, they all know who had it. <laughs> yeah, but the, the statute of limitation is over with, though. Do right? y'all hear how crazy this sounds if you don't know the facts? Yeah. Youngstown rocket launcher. They all, everybody know who had the grenade launcher. Well, it was a grenade launcher, not a rocket launcher. It was a grenade launcher but everybody know who had it. Damn. Like, if I say that, somebody, they, they well, all just know. just tell the story. Nothing, man. Like, I mean, it's just been plenty of times. Like, once it got out that he had that, it was just like, yo, man, we ain't fucking with that nigga because he got a grenade launcher. That motherfucker, one time a dude was trying to say some shit to me uh, at, at Taco Bell, and uh, he was mad about some broad or some shit. Man, forget What else could it have been? Yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> Easy work. Yeah, that's all I So then uh, after that, he was trying to say something, and then he was like, man, ain't nobody worried. I didn't even see, because my back was turned to him. And mm-hmm. I just started seeing people move, and it was him coming up out the trunk with that big motherfucker. And I, and I just with heard the him. grenade launch? Yeah. At Taco scared. Bell? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's crazy. Yeah, he pulled out all the time. Yeah, you real crazy. Wow. Yeah. And would have let that bitch go. He, 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 he. Okay. Wow. Tommy Nova, anything else? Man, I'm cool, man. Hey, we're shooting a podcast. You all right? I'm going to call you back. Uh. Oh, who's this? Got the cash app? Uh-oh. Eww. What we got? Let's see what we got here. What we got, huh? What we... Oh, oh, shit. But it's money. <laughs> Man. It's money, though. Who just I can't get... even get no Zaxby's with that. <laughs> well, 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 maybe... A little three joint. Nah, three joint gonna be five. It's some oh. change. <laughs> you're gonna have to instant that joint. So they take us 19 cents out of yeah. that. So we about 460. And, cl- and closing, Tommy, what we got? Man. And closing, Man, but I be hearing people yeah, say that said, shit. No, no, no. It, it is like what you said, but for some reason, you're paying more attention. It's not that it's different. You, you, you know what I think, Tommy? I, I think that I read this book that was called The uh, Creature from Jekyll Island. Mm-hmm. And this dude gave, because I didn't know Scott Jekyll Island is in Georgia. Yeah. That's where they, they created the... Um, the National Reserves and all that shit. That's where them super rich white folks go, went uh, or go. And I read that book and they talked about how the American dollar is false. It don't have no value at all. And there's no way that it can be sustainable. Like it's Sustainable because they'll drop a bomb on your ass if you don't respect it. And, and so what he said is, he said basically it's going to get back to like how when motherfuckers had moats. And, and and kingdoms and like uh, this person right there, he got a moat and a dragon around that bitch, and he got all the resources and the money. He said because they got us chasing the dollar when them motherfuckers is getting land, yeah. water, sustainable shit, sustainable right? Shit. So what I realized is that 2020 was so hard for so many people was because the lie was broken. Like, the lies running out, man. One of my homies was saying, bro, you can't find no wood to build with. Yeah, my homie was building a deck, and he was like, it took him weeks because he can't find wood. You can't find wood. You can't find certain bro, types of food. six months in, and they done gave these folks $1,200. Six months. Damn, I didn't what think about that. What could you do that? with $1,200 over six months? But what you did, but run to the mall with that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What you can't live off twelve hundred dollars. You better off months. blowing so it just to, to get something so you can get say you had. Else, at least yeah. you have fun while you starving to death around this bitch. Yeah, it'll be crispy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> but I you mean, know, you never would think that the government would just leave so many citizens out here to hang. You know, to dry like that, bro. But one you gonna give me twelve hundred dollars. One of the things I was tripping on is how America just went to this verbal war with China. And now this shit look like more like China than it ever have. Everybody got on the motherfucking mask. Yeah, like we in man. fucking China. Yep. And of course, out of all of the countries, America got the worst response to this shit. Yep. And these motherfuckers who so, own most of the fucking uh, uh, tabs that America owe. Yep. And y'all black asses still won't drink no water. But your high blood pressure having ass.
Ouch. Saying like, but they, they've been killing me with all that. Oh, 2020 this, like, man, uh, man. See, when it get real hard, that's a chance for you to, you know. I mean, I know black people have so been dying. Yeah, your it's shit. definitely an abnormal I mean, okay, outside of Corona, okay, that shit was wild because we went through some lockdown shit. So, of course, in my 30-something years, I ain't never seen no shit like that. So, yeah, that was weird. But I be seeing people saying it because motherfuckers dying and shit. Like, and no offense, I'm a big Kobe fan, rest in peace Kobe and all these other people. People say, I don't know him. My motherfucking nephew got killed last year. It ain't even been a year yet. That's the shit that fuck with me. So when people be all, like, up in arms over that shit, like, I lived through that shit for real, for real. the George Floyd joint impacted so hard is what what it feels like with everything else. It's because it's nothing to do. It's so you trapped you at home watching that shit. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. all you seeing. But then well, we you need to find something yeah. more constructive to do with your fucking time, then. For real. Mm-hmm. For if, real. You, if you ask me. Yeah. That's just like, I don't be trying to sound like huh, hard or tough or no shit, but it's just the reality of the but shit. But bro, man. the other truth is, is that it's always been a recession for us. It's always been a COVID for us. We, we, we are more susceptible. I just saw um, statistics that say black and brown people are more susceptible to COVID than anybody else because of the conditions that we live in. Well, we're more susceptible to high blood pressure, AIDS, every motherfucking thing else that's wrong with us, period. So I still think this is an opportunity for us to get it, man. It is. I really, man, I, it, I be so just, proud of you, bro. It just ain't easy. I be, well, but shit, ain't nothing easy that's in this mother. Saying. Except that's being in the system. Yeah. That's what I was saying. They want it easy. But, bro, I be watching you train them people in the morning time, bro. On your mad. laptop, you be getting it. Hey, he be busting hey, their ass to it. They be doing whatever he say. Can't stop the, the, inf- the man, influx. Bro. I saw that lady, I saw that lady by her, I don't know why she was by her steps. Hey, you killed the ass. She Stop. laid, oh, she laid up on the motherfucking steps and let it go. Oh, still going. <laughs> I can't touch you. I can get to you. Yeah, man. No, nah, man, you know, nothing ever stays the same. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So as conditions change, there's going to be two situations. You can either adapt to that change or that change is going to kill you. Yeah. One or the other. Ain't no gray area. Yeah. So when something happens, you got to figure out what your response is going to be. All that sitting around moping about that shit, can't change it. You can only change the circumstances that you can control. The rest of it, you can't even worry about. Anything closing, little bro? Um, nah, man. Go on the website. I got some more shit coming for y'all, too. Right. Is it ABV shit or other shit? I heard you've been stepping out on the design. Ooh, shots fucking fired, son. <laughs> Ask you. Ooh, shit. What? He everywhere now. Yeah, he everywhere now. That is true. No. Nima Marcus. You know? Ooh. Be great, bro. Be great. Listen. Be great, uh, son. Be great. Yeah. What up, son? I'm I'm only only, I want you to diversify the portfolio, bro. Wow. (laughs) Motherfuckers cold when they want to be there. Yeah. 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 I'm talking about going out too. (laughs) Ain't throwing the shot. I did miss somebody. I thought it was a valid question. I know it's definitely valid. Mean and shit? Listen, Scott. You know, this people he introduced me to and said, you know, they always looked out for him. Oh, he ain't so say that they, part. See, when they, so when they came out and asked me for a Hold favor on. and I'm up under Hold him. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So how he going to take a shot at you and you going to throw this shit off on me? Because That's he, some I'm bullshit. back to him. Okay. <laughs> well, time running out. We about to close this bitch out now. Well, I just got to tell my side of the story then. Uh-huh. Okay. So, <laughs> that one. so, you know, when it came back around, you know, I always broke. He always say, man, Lee, you know, just always make me look good, man. You know, that's you don't want to be nice no other time, he though. Said, but you just always make me look good, Lee. All right, bro. So you said they, you know, and mind you, Regina asked me, so you know I'm not telling oh, her. Oh, you're gonna though. throw Regina under the bus and shade here? You a cold motherfucker, boy. Everybody, because y'all put it on me. <laughs> Ooh, you and her. I didn't. And Scott's sitting back here firing because you done gave some old lady message to him. I, I don't I don't I'm know how you asking did. for a point That's of the only way you knew. Okay. You just simmer saute. You just put some old bay on it and gave it to Scott. Tommy got, Tommy got, uh, what, what do you call them motherfuckers that answer your phone? Um, secretary. Hey, Scott. In the car? Scott. No, no, come through. You remember what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, hell. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> All right, y'all. This is Dave Better Podcast. Um, if you don't like Sally Scott, Tommy Nova, Regina, suck a dick. Thank you. Stitch Services, Inc. We are a fabric solution company that services television, film, and the event industry. Business stopped, and we pivoted to making masks. We got really good at it and started making Black Lives Matter masks. This isn't a moment, it's a movement. Orders take one to two business days to process, and shipping can take two to four business days. All masks are printed and sewn at our location in Van Nuys, California. www.stitchservices. Again, our website, www.stitchservices. The David Banner Podcast.